Good morning, YouTube. I wanted to do a video on crappy gun reviews. And you'll, you'll know what I mean when I say crappy gun reviews. You see them all the time. And I want to tell, split the difference between what I think of a gun review and a range report. A range report is where somebody takes their gun to the range and demonstrates it, shoots it, whatever. I don't mean some hick or some hillbilly that points a gun at the target and goes, Hey, what's this? You know, and blows fire, you know. That's not a range report. That's you videoing yourself wasting ammo, especially since if you don't hit the target or make the target look like it's a Ray Charles shooting a Newsy, that's not a range report. That's you blowing ammo. That's you just wasting your ammunition. Okay, that's not a gun review. That's a, a proper range report is saying, okay, this is what this gun does at a certain grouping, certain range with this ammo. By the way, it doesn't function with this ammo, you know, that, so on and so forth. That's a range report. Getting back to crappy gun reviews, and we've all seen them. Somebody, some hoo-ha gets a video, gets a video camera, points it at their gun, and shows their gun, and by the end of the video, you have learned nothing about the gun. You know, for instance, I bought this gun because I thought it was really cool, and it's a rifle, uh, it's a bolt action, all crap we can see by looking at the gun. And it's, uh, it's cool, it points nice, because who wants a gun that doesn't point at the target when you put it there? And I bought it because it's, uh, it's cool, and I like it, and have a nice day, everybody. You know, one of those. We've all seen those. You're not, you're not telling anybody everything. You're not telling anybody anything. So what is a, a, what is a good review? First, it's usually better if you actually own the gun. I love the reviews of a gun that someone doesn't even own. Has never picked up, never shot, never held. It's a cool gun. Why is it a cool gun? Uh, because it is. It's in 380. It's cheap. It's whatever. That's not a review. That's crap I can find online. I'm looking right now at possibly buying a Ruger American. You know, if I ever get enough money together for one, because they're 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 a cheaper gun. Their economy, not all of us can afford to go out and buy three, four guns a week or a month or whoever, but, you know, etc. And I, it took me no more than five minutes to find out that they make a gun in the caliber that I want in the full size with a 22-inch barrel, the compact with the 18.5-inch barrel, and the compact stainless in the 18.5-inch barrel. So it took me five minutes to figure that out. That's more than I get out of some reviews that I waste five minutes of my life on. You know, if you're going to do a review of a gun, and again, you don't have to shoot it. That, to me, again, that's a range report. That's not necessarily a review. Go over details. Okay, how many, well, first off, the caliber. I've actually seen reviews where the guy didn't even tell you what the caliber is, or even the model of the gun. You know, for instance, uh, Marlon 30-06. 30-06 what? You know, what is it? What model is it? What's the barrel length? What's the magazine capacity? What's the trigger pull? What's the length of pull for the stock? Do they make it in left hand? You know, things like that. Now, even if you don't know, you can't measure the trigger pull yourself. I know some people that have trigger pull gauge, and it's, it's like watching a, cal a chimp doing calculus. That stuff is online. Even if you don't know it, even if you don't put it in the video, put it in the description. That stuff is on the manufacturer's website. I know it is because I've looked this stuff up. Put it in there. That way people, oh, cool, now I know you know, Now I know what it is. That's a review. You know, don't go out there and go, oh, the gun fits nice in my hand. That's nice. Your hand isn't the same size as everybody else's. You may have little hands, big hands. You know, you might have hands that look like oven mitts with fingers. You may have six fingers. You may have four fingers. You know, just because the gun fits nice in my hand doesn't mean it fits nice in everybody else's. So, I mean, stuff like that. Oh, it's going fit nice to my hand. Well, that's nice. Who cares? Your hand is not mine. Your hand is not, you know, a, a woman that's looking for her first gun. A kid. So on and so forth. Saying, I really like the caliber. Why? Why do you like the caliber? What's it done for you? Have you killed any deer with it? Have, you know, just go, I like the caliber. For, on what basis? On what basis? You know, and again, these are some of the reviews that we get out there. Because when you do reviews like that, people look at you like you're an idiot. And it's not that you're not trying. It, well, no, it is. It's you're not trying. 
But, I mean, it's one of those things, if you're trying to do a review, do the best review you can. Show a couple different angles of the gun. Don't just point to the camera and go, hey, look at the gun I bought. You know, one of those. Don't just do that. That's not a review. That's us learning that you had money and bought a rifle. Or someone, you know, that that's all that is. It's nothing more. So that's not, you're not telling us anything other than, hey, look, I bought something. You know, that's that's all you're telling us. A real review. Okay. Smith & Wesson, give an example. Smith & Wesson model 39 9mm. Eight rounds. Single action, double action. Just for rear sight. You know, what more can I tell you? I mean, four inch barrel. And this is just a little, this is just little stuff. Little stuff. I mean, if I was going to do a full on review, and I have of this gun. I would give you as much information I had at that time on the gun. Not just, oh, it's a gun, and it points, and it looks like this, and it, it... You know, does it come in, like a rifle, does it come in wood stock? Does it come in fiberglass stock? Does it come with sights? Is it mounted for, is it set up, you can put a scope on it. Does it come with rings for your scope? Does it come with a base for the scope? So on and so forth. And again... That's the difference between a good review and uh, look at the gun I bought. Isn't it pretty? You know, that's that's the difference. So, YouTube, you know, and again, especially people who are just starting out and some who have started out and seem to be stuck in place, when you do a review, do a review that, you know, you the things you would want to know about the gun, put them up there. Show them up there, because that way you're not going to someone else and go, Hey, I have a question. You know, I have a question. Could you tell me about... You know, that's what Google's for. Look up manufacturer. But just put it in review. It's simple. It's not hard. So, there you go, folks. That's another little rant, but it's a good one. It's an educational one for everybody involved. Have a nice day.